Okay, we're headed for lunch. And we have decided that we need to try what is touted as the official food of Halifax, the Donair. No one knows what a Donair is. It appears to me to be somewhat like shawarma. Yep. Um, but with a twist, a special Halifaxian twist. And to get the best on air, we have decided to follow the advice of a few of our viewers. Some people definitely told us to come here. We are headed into Tony's. They've been around since 1974. I was super curious about how the Donair came to be like a Canadian food because it seems like a shawarma or something that was invented in Turkey. So I did look it up and I did read that it was actually a Greek man who came and he was doing the typical Donair or Donair kebab that you would get like in Turkey or Greece. And the Canadians were not taking it. They didn't like it, I guess. And they weren't taking to it so well. So he changed the recipe where he added the Donair sauce, which he actually sweetened the garlic sauce and I believe it's done with condensed milk and ta-da, Canadians picked it up and the Dawn Air Forever then became a Canadian food but specifically here in Halifax and it may have been Anthony Bourdain who also helped with that because I believe about 10 years ago in 2014 he was in Wolfville and he was opening some food festival down there and he did declare that the Dawn Air was like the official food of Halifax or Nova Scotia. So, Tony's. We're here, we're gonna try it out uh, as soon as they're ready. Okay, Tony's is awesome, but it is very small in there. We would have loved to eat because it just feels super authentic and tiny and, you know, sitting on the bar stools, looking out the window, like an old school takeout place. Um, but it doesn't make for good filming. So we've just come back to the van that's parked on the street and we're gonna give this a try. So just so you know, we got the large Dunair. Uh, it was $14 and we're splitting it um, because we're pretty sure there's gonna be some other good eats here today and the large is looking pretty large. So Mitch is gonna try it first. Check that out. Ooh. So it's supposed to be spicy meat, tomatoes and onions and Dunair sauce, pretty basic. Mm. The garlic sauce is amazing. What do you think about the sweet? The sweet is awesome. The meat is delicious. Did we get just those two wee napkins? Yes. <laughs> okay, so it's fully, um, it's definitely a pita, not a wrap that they put it in. And I don't think I got a shot, but they had the meat on the spits, just like they do for shawarma, spinning around and cooking all day. And then they shave it off. But the Donair is supposed to be a nice spicy meat. All right, I'm going in, look at that. Mm -hmm. mm. The spicy meat is delicious. I barely, I don't know if I barely got any Dunair sauce or if it's just mixed in there. And it's so nice and simple with just the tomatoes and the onion. The onion is fresh, it's not cooked. So we're gonna need some gum. Mmm, the sauce is so interesting. Okay, this is delicious. This is my first on air ever. Um, I think it's fabulous. Mitch loves it too, so try it out. If you're in Halifax, unless you have a better recommendation, we highly recommend Tony's, the authentic, world famous Don Air. I have engaged the lobster bib. I'm super excited. I am at Peggy's Cove, and this is where I decided to have my first fresh steamed lobster. <laughs> and they have instructions on the menu how to eat the lobster, so we're going to twist off the claws. <laughs> Which sounds so mean, but I did it. Okay, then I have to crack each claw with the nutcracker. I'm just gonna do one at a time. Oh, that might have been aggressive. Okay, separate the tail piece. Okay, well wait, I wanna eat something. So I'm just gonna start with that and that's gonna be the end of the lobster eating lesson. I will admit, this is probably the second lobster I've ever had in my whole entire life. So I'm not sure how good I am at this. 
but I love snow crab. Oh, that was a good one. I'd like to get all this water out. And there's some garlic butter here we're gonna dip in. Oh my God, the sun just came out. Look at that. Okay, here goes. Pretty good? Oh my god, that's so good. I actually have always said I've been more of a snow crab lover than lobster, but that lobster claw is pretty damn good. Okay, let's go eat. Cheers. Hey, yeah, like that's just so random. What have you got there, Mitch? Well, we have some uh, deep fried pepperoni with some uh, <laughs> spicy mustard. And then we have um, an order of truffle fries. Well, that's nothing different, but this? Yes, we're eating very healthy today. <laughs> and I'm gonna try a pepperoni. Love pepperoni, so. This seems like a lot of pepperoni. <laughs> mm. The spicy mustard is really good. Um, the pepperoni. Tastes like deep fried pepperoni. I guess so maybe nothing super special with pepperoni. Really like the um, sauce. And um, yeah, I think I'm gonna try a truffle fry too. Yeah. Going right in. Oh, the aioli. I can put aioli on anything and I will love it. But those are actually really good. Okay, we're here at um, the beer garden. It has a very good vibe. They have live music like every day. We're not here when there's live music. We're just having this little shareable snack and a little beverage before we carry on. And our waitress just gave us an amazing recommendation. We did want to check out one of the breweries here in Halifax. I think we're going to do Garrison. So we just heard they have a tap room and our waitress told us we have to have the garlic fingers. She said we are missing out thinking that they are like garlic bread or cheesy garlic bread. They are not. We're missing out. So she's convinced us that before we leave the city, we're going to find us some garlic fingers. We just got our flight here at uh, Oxford. So this is a Garrison uh, Brewing Company tap room. And um, it is amazing presentation. Pretty awesome uh, presentation on the flight, man. That's why all, he's got all this stuff written facing him. These are all my sours. It is gorgeous. This might be the best presentation of a flight that I've seen. This is like really cool. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get our drink on and we are also waiting for some garlic fingers that are coming from next door from King of Donair, so. All right, we had to do it. We had to try the famous garlic fingers with Donair sauce, of course. Uh, we got the small nine inch, which, oh, look at that. So this is supposed to be way different than the garlic bread we have back in Ontario. So I think we're gonna have to uh, dive in and I'm gonna let Janet try first this time. Oh, really? Here's how this is gonna go. I'm gonna try one plain and then dip the next bite in Donair sauce and see if it's everything that we have been told about. It smells very garlicky. Yeah. Oh. Okay, there is something that is just different. I feel like there's like real garlic on here, first of all, like maybe chunks, because it's pretty good. Okay, I'll hand it to Halifax. Garlic fingers are not cheesy garlic bread. They are definitely their own thing, and I'm gonna try it now with the sauce. Oh, a nice thick, oh, wow. Okay, with the donair sauce. Hey, 
I like that too. Very different. I might like it better without the sauce. I'm not sure. These are really good. I'm gonna let Mitch try. They're um, really buttery. It's not really even crispy. It is really different than garlic bread, but I think what I notice is I swear there's fresh, real garlic on here. Okay, I'm like Jan will try without the donair sauce. Okay, super tasty. My first impression was like, I was eating like a cheese pizza. Um, with hints of garlic. I'm gonna try it with the sauce. <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> I love and need sauce. This is delicious. It is different. It's very different. Yes, super tasty. Okay, now we understand. Yes, thank you for the recommendations. This has been great. I don't know if we're gonna be able to eat it all. We just had a snack a little while ago, so that might be a snack later on tonight. Mm -hmm. Right now, I think we need to uh, address the uh, elephant in the room here on the table. <laughs> also, the Oxford Tap Room, top notch. Highly recommend. Again, it's the Garrison Brewing. We did want to go to Garrison Brewing, which is down by the water, um, but this just hit all the boxes for us because we're wrapping up here in Halifax, and this was like a two stop, two of the highlights maybe of Halifax in one stop, having the garlic fingers and Garrison Brew. So I think this... This might be the end of our video. Oh, um, well, I think we need a cheers for that. We need a cheers. I'm going to choose the Garrison, um, I think it's called Pucker Up Sour. I'm gonna try Hoppy. Hoppy boy. Hoppy boy. All right, everybody. Till so, next time. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't. And uh, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you next week. We sure will. Cheers. Cheers.